just be with us. Can y'all hear me? Hey, Cindy, Penny, Kina. Hey, Vicki. Listen, there's going to be a little bit of movement. Hey, Sandra. There's going to be a little bit of movement because we're trying to set the phone up on the tripod. And so we're not ready to start right now. Um, what'd you say, honey? In fact, y'all, I, I didn't know that I was live, and I'm sitting here just fixing my hair, trying to do something. <laughs> oh, thank you. We're going to give some people, hey, we're going to give some people time to sign on. Give me just a minute. There's going to be some movement. Okay, let me see. Can y'all see me Okay. Bear with us, we're trying to, my tech man's here tonight. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up. Hey, Wendy. Is that good? Um, I have just about, um, yeah, that's good. Oh, going down the road watching. Lisa, you better not be driving, girl. <laughs> Does anybody else have their pajamas on besides me? I said I'm going to name this group the PJ, um, the PJ Bible Study Group to praise Jesus in our PJs. How's that? Hey, Sarah, Megan. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you all could um, hear me okay. And uh, see, all right, what I will do is um, before, when we get started, um, I was trying to read, when I actually get started going over chapter eight with you is what I'm going to do. Um, okay, good, good, sis. Um what I'm going to do when I actually start, I'm going to um, slide the um, comments and all of that uh, to the side because I'm going to want to say hi to everybody. Like, Tanya, love you, girl. Linda, um, I'm going to want to say hi to everybody, and we're going to do that and take some time after and for those of you who don't want to hang out after we're done, totally understand it's Friday night. And listen, there's nowhere I'd rather be is than home and in my pajamas, in a warm home. And um, hey, Sue, just hanging out with Bible study girls and guys, if there's any guys joining us, and um, studying the Word. And uh, Rick and I are going to sing just an a, old, old hymn after a while. And so, um, all the people that can't be here because they have more exciting lives than us, <laughs> they can tune in the next time or they can watch it later. Some are traveling. It is Friday night. A lot of date nights going on. And... Um, so, it, it's all good, but I'm going to wait just a couple of minutes um, so that everybody can um, get signed on. And um, let me just say, if for some reason we get disconnected, because you never know. Um, hey, Becky, hope you're feeling better. Um... Thank you, Sue. Um, 
if we get disconnected for any reason, just hang out for a second. We'll sign back on. We never know what's what's happening. Um, so don't don't leave me. Don't don't leave me. Um, just just hang tight. But um, I'm trying. I don't have my watch on for whatever reason. It's um. It's just like a minute or two, I think, after eight. So I'm going to give it another minute. And listen, again, um, I'm going to slide you guys off to the side so that I don't get sidetracked. And then we will um, do chapter eight. And then we will um, have just a, a song. Um, and then we'll do some question and answers and just talk about our study and a couple of announcements and i don't know i hope you guys are enjoying proverbs as much as i am i'm going to tell you coming in is and i've said this before um it was a little frightening but um i'm so glad that we conquered that and just went ahead and went for it you know because i'm learning so much hey sabrina and donna um, I, I'm learning so much, and I trust that you all are, and that um, you're, you've uh, learned more than you ever knew about the first seven chapters of Proverbs. I certainly have, and um, just I thank God for this opportunity. It it's just um, it's just such a blessing, and this is my first PJ Bible study. So, if I share this to my Facebook, can friends that aren't part of this group still see it? If you share it, maybe on your page, I don't know. Does anybody know? Can somebody answer Linda's question? Because I don't know. What I would suggest is that um, during, you know, the segment of our chapter eight, and I hope you have A, your Bibles, your notebooks, and I hope that if you have, and I'm going to give you a second here, a couple seconds, um, if you have a yellow colored pencil, then I would suggest that you get it because even if you're not marking the text like we, what, like I've been talking about, even if you're not doing that, if you have a yellow, not a magic marker, just a yellow highlighter uh, pencil. Crayon, crayon, don't use a highlighter. Um, get that. And um, while we're waiting just another minute or two, and uh, you, you may already have it sitting right there beside you, and I hope that you do, because there's one word when I come to it that I would like for you to um, mark it, or I should say, however you mark the Lord or he talking about the Lord, or his. Um, whatever color you're using for him, then get that color. I always put him in yellow because he's light. And so, um, I would suggest that you do that because I would like for you to, to mark that. So, is what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to slide the comments, and if you can, refrain from commenting uh, so that we're not distracted with that, and if you're easily distracted like I am, I would recommend that you slide the comments to your, uh, to where you can't see them. I'm so glad to hear that, that you're loving this study, because um, I am too. But slide those to the side, and then let's do our study, and then we're going to come back and have some question and answers. And my sweet husband is, he's my tech man tonight. He's going to be my guitar and harmony singer tonight. And then when we finish singing, um, then we're going to have some question and answers and um, make a couple of announcements. So, I'm going to go ahead and slide you guys off. Um, so, just bear with me, and I would recommend that you do the same. Okay, here we are. So, um, let's turn our Bibles to chapter 8, if you haven't already. And uh, I want to go ahead and give you my chapter theme. And, um, which is, he who finds wisdom finds life. 
And I took that from verse 35. So that is the chapter theme. And I wanted to do chapter eight live pretty much um, the first time I read it because it kind of breaks it up to what we're normally doing. It also allows me time, um, more personal time, I think, with with uh, the group. And um, I've just thought about it for a while. And so then, you know, even Rick said, maybe you should do a lesson live. And then, uh, so we, we talked about it and of course prayed about it and it just worked out great. Uh, Vicki is at a funeral, and uh, Vicki's been posting all of our videos, and so we thank her for all of that and her hard work um, and setting all of that up. So, um, my chapter theme is chapter 8. I will go ahead and say that we're, we're going to do chapter 12, which I think is on Tuesday. We're going to do that live as well. There's not a whole lot that needs to be said other than what's said in here, other than what we read. Um, at least for me, it wasn't. I mean, it's pretty much um, right there. And so I just want to take our time and read it together. Um, whatever translation you're using, I'm using the NASB. So I wanted to do this and um, break it down a little bit. And then, of course, after it's over and we post this video, feel free to go back and put your comments and what you've learned and, and what God is um, giving you so I too can learn. But before we start, let's pray and then we're going to dive right into chapter 8. Thank you for being here, by the way. Father, we love you so much and we just thank you, Lord, for um, the comfort of home and where we feel safe and warm and we can sense your blessings and how good that you are to us. And I just thank you, Lord, for this opportunity and for all the people that are watching right now and all of the people that are going to watch it later. I just pray that you would um, just speak to them, give us um, wisdom, Incline our ears to hear what you want to say and give us a heart to receive that what you want to give us tonight. We just are so thankful for your word that we get to come together and we get to study and learn of you. So I pray, God, right now where everyone is at, you are there. And I'm that's just so exciting. You are there. And so um, just whisper in our hearts things that we need to learn and the things that we need to apply um, in our hearts and lives. I just love you so much. And um, just I just appreciate you. I just, I just thank you for loving me. And um, I love your word. And so hide it deep in my heart, Lord, so that I don't sin against you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, okay, my chapter theme again is He Who Finds Wisdom Finds Life. I took that from verse 35. So, we, I'm going to read this kind of slow so that we can know who's, who's speaking. And um, so, just bear with me. So, eight, chapter 8. Does not wisdom call and understanding lift her voice or give her voice? And now we're going to see where. On top of the heights, beside the way, where the path meets, number one, she takes her stand. And what I did, I just took a pencil and I just put a number one right there. Verse three also tells us where. Beside the gates, at the opening to the city, at the entrance of the doors, it tells us what she does. She cries out. That's that's two if you're making a list about the things that we're learning about wisdom. Verse four, to you, O oh men, there's our words, there's the brackets. To you, O oh men, I call. This is wisdom. And my voice is to the sons of men. Now, I'm going to read verse five, but then I'm going to read it in the King James Version because I loved how it states it much better than I do this translation. So verse five, O naive ones, understand prudence, and O fools, understand wisdom. Here's what the King James Version says. O ye simple, 
understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. So I wrote that translation in my the margins of my Bible. And then I wrote a note to self. Turn this into prayer. Um, about our understanding, about wisdom. Verse 6. Listen, for I will speak noble things. This is the fourth thing already that we're learning about wisdom. Listen for I, wisdom, however you mark wisdom if you're marking. For I will speak noble things and the opening of my lips will reveal right things. That's the fifth thing. Verse seven, for my mouth will utter truth. That's the sixth thing. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. I hope that you're marking abomination. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Let me remind you that an abomination is morally disgusting to God. So we have to pay close attention to what we're told is an abomination to God. Verse 8. All the utterances of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing crooked or perverted in them. Verse 9, they are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. I mean, let's pray for that. Let's consistently pray for understanding and for some knowledge. Verse 10, wisdom, she says, take my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choicest gold, for wisdom is better than jewels. And all desirable things cannot compare with her. And at the bottom of my uh, Bible, underneath verse 11, I put note to self. Any and everything I desire pales in comparison to some wisdom and understanding. What better thing to desire than wisdom and understanding? Um, verse 12. I, wisdom... Dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. In other words, a plan. Verse 13, the fear of the Lord, that that reverence that we're supposed to have for him. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way, and the perverted mouth I hate. Be careful what we're speaking. Be careful what we're saying. That our words, that our uh, mouth is not speaking that which is perverted. Verse 14. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Power is mine. By me, talking about wisdom there, by me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, all who judge rightly. I love those who love me. And those who diligently seek me will find me. That word diligent is, I I just took a pencil and I just marked how. It tells us how. Those who diligently seek me will find me. And I put, Lord, make me be diligent to seek you. And wisdom, verse 18, riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than the cho- than choices silver. You found gold and silver in verse 10. Verse 20, I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Now, I want to just kind of go off um, a, a little side road here. We're going to take a little detour. Um, many of you know, um, and you've studied about the righteousness and us being righteous and things like that, but for those who are new to the study of God's Word, I just felt like I needed to um, 
talk about this for just a minute, and I'm going to give you a couple of cross-references, and I'm going to read those to you, but I want to give you the addresses so that you can always keep them. In my Bible, I have a lot of room on the side, and so here, that's where I've listed these, these um, passages. If you will turn with me to Isaiah 64, 6, or just write it down, Isaiah 64, 6, and you, if you've been in church all your lives, you've heard this, um, but I just want to point this out. Isaiah 64, verse 6, for all of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like filthy garments. So, or I think the King James Version says filthy rags, and I've heard that um, growing up, and I just want to point out that that's our righteous deeds. So, for a long time, I don't know if you all felt like this, but for a long time, when somebody would say, I'm the righteousness of God, and I'd be like, oh, you know, they, I don't feel like there's anything righteous about me, so not real sure I'm going to say that, um, but... That's just being um, not wise. Let me show you in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. And then I'm going to give you some scripture references that we're not going to read, but you can put those in your notebook and read them later, and I encourage you to do that. But 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says this, He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf. So that, here's why. So that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Here are some cross references. Philippians 3, 9. Romans 5, 19. 1 Peter 2, 24. Okay, now let me show you something else about righteousness. If you want to know um, a lot about righteousness, I would uh, recommend that you read the whole chapter of Romans 4, but we're going to just look at verse 3 because I want us to be able to apply this. For what does the scripture say? Romans 4, 3. For what does the scripture say? Question. Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. So, because of Jesus, we are made righteous. And so, it's okay for you to say that, that I'm the righteousness of God. But here's the application. Abraham believed God. And because he believed God, it was credited to him, Abraham, as righteousness, and we want that to be said of us as well. You know, I just kept thinking over a couple of things today. You know, if if we're not going to believe the word, then why read the word? And I just want to um, encourage someone who is doubting or sometimes doubts the word, you can trust the word. It is true. It is the word of God. And um, when we read this, we're to believe this, okay? Otherwise, there's no point. We must and we have to believe the word of God. Verse 22, the Lord possessed me at the beginning, the beginning tells us when. And for those of us who mark our Bibles, we would put a green clock around that. The Lord possessed me, talking about wisdom, at the beginning of his way before his works of old. From everlasting, I, talking about wisdom, was established or I was consecrated. From the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth, verse 24, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. I was born. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, 
I was brought forth. I was born. This is wisdom here. Verse 26, while he, now here's where I want you to take and use your, your uh, yellow colored pencils. Starting actually in verse 22, the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. And this is NASB, so however yours is worded, mark the uh, phrases referring to the Lord, okay? So there's three in verse 22. In verse 26, while he had not yet made the earth and the fields or outside, nor the first dust of the world. Verse 27, when he established the heavens, I, talking about wisdom, was there. When he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed or when they became strong, when he set for the sea its boundary so that the water would not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I, talking about wisdom, was beside him as a master workman. And I was daily his delight. Rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in the sons of men. Now, if you have the uh, new inductive study Bible, I would encourage you, what I did, I drew a line to um, the passage, um, like verse 30, for example, where it says rejoicing always before him. Another word for rejoicing in this is playing. So when I got down to verse 31, rejoicing in the world, that word also means playing. So you could read it like this. Then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, playing always before him, playing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in the sons of men. Verse 32, new paragraph. Now therefore... O oh, sons, there's your phrase, listen to me. This is wisdom talking. For blessed are they who keep my ways. First thing, I, I put a, a number one there because that's a list for me. Blessed are they who, one, keep my ways, um, heed my instructions and be wise, and do not neglect it. The it there is the instruction. So there's you a list of three things right there. Verse 34, blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates. It's telling us when, watching daily. Waiting at my doorposts. Verse 35, for he who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. And I always put favor in brackets, uh, a pink bracket. And to the right of that in my Bible, I wrote the definition of favor so that every time that I come across the word favor, I can always be reminded of what that means. So, and obtains favor from the Lord, that means delight. That means desire. It means support and it means approval. From the Lord. Now here's the contrast in the last verse. But he who sins against me injures himself. All those who hate me love death. So see, that's why I didn't think that it was very necessary to put a lot of my personal notes in here because it's pretty self-explanatory. There are some lists that um, we can make here. There are some words. Now, I went through chapter 8, as I have all through Proverbs this far, 
and marked the word wisdom with the big yellow W on it. You can't see it that well, but I used a little uh, a marker or a little pen. And um, so that I would know who is speaking. And um, then when you look at the word righteousness, you see that stands out. And we're seeing a lot of contrast between wickedness and righteous in these chapters. And you're going to continue to see that for a little bit. Um, and I'm not all the way through, so we may see it from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 31. Um, I, I do have a note in here from um, verse 7 where it says, For my mouth will utter truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. And so the word wickedness, I always put a black box around wickedness so that I can easily see that, so that if I'm trying to find out what that is talking about, I'll easily spot that. But I, I marked um, the definition. I wrote the definition down for wickedness, and it means wrong, especially moral. It means iniquity, and it means evil. So I would just recommend that you go and you mark those phrases, um, time phrases, which it's full of, from verse 22, verses 22 through 30, um, when there were, or um, um, yeah, when he established, when he inscribed, when he made. So those are time phrases. So um, I, I put a little green clock and, and I've posted those uh, codes for you if you want to use those. It When you do that, it just causes you to stop and ponder and, and really pay close attention. Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier in a video where I said, you know, um, when you do this um, or if dot, 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 then when or it's then I will do. So be be uh, careful to look at those things and slow down and read it. I mean, you have um, several hours in the day that you can read, what, 36 verses. Honey, if you want to go ahead and come on in here, we're going to get ready and sing. Because I don't have much more than that because I don't think there's really much more that you can say. I mean, I think that's pretty self-explanatory there. I did, you know, make a couple of notes, Lord, um, you know, help me to make this into a prayer that um, that you would give me uh, wisdom and that you would cause me to understand and that you would um, never speak anything or be anything or do anything that is considered an abomination. Um, help me, Lord, to be diligent to seek you, you know, for wisdom. And then I just wanted that sweet reminder. It was sweet to me. Uh, it was a very freeing thing for me when I learned that it was okay that I'm the righteousness of God because of the work of the cross and what Jesus did. And so um, I just wanted to, to point that out and to kind of give you some freedom in that area about being righteous. Our righteous deeds are as filthy rags, but we are, uh, those who are in Christ are the righteousness of God. And that's something to rejoice over and to be so thankful for. Um, I'm going to, when Rick gets in here, I've thought about this little song. Um, I'm going to turn my... Um, notifications back on, but I'm gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and sing this little old song. I don't know why, but I have been humming this song, um, for a few days, and, uh, you sing it with us in your, in the comfort of your home and your PJs, and, uh, it's just a sweet, sweet song, and sometimes in, um, when I'm just going through the house, uh, riding in the car, um, I think about these old sweet hymns. And uh, this one's just been on my mind, so I hope you enjoy this. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take Him as Just to know that 
word and learning all that he is and who he is and then you sing a song where you remember where you've learned to trust him and that you can take him at his word is just really really sweet really sweet I have been the biggest crybaby through Proverbs than ever so so anyway I hope that you all enjoyed that and um Woo! Sorry about that. Um, okay. Let's try to um, get myself together. <laughs> I know my nephew's watching <laughs> and he's laughing at me. Woo! Okay. Um, give us some feedback on Proverbs, what you're uh, learning, what you're thinking what uh, any questions that you have 
and um we will rick and i will do our best to handle those all because like i said it's just the two of us i do want to say uh give you some um an announcement first of all for those of you who are already signed up for the lord teach me to study the bible um vicky put a post on that on that site today and she has offered to order the books for those of you who are local so that um, it will really, really save on the shipping and handling. So go over there um, and look at that. See if you are interested in ordering with her. For those of you who are not local and you want to take the study online sometime in January, we don't have the details worked out of that. Uh, out on that as far as the dates and things like that. We're going to do it in, in January. And uh, so go over there to that site and sign up if you haven't already ready, and if you're interested in doing that. If you've already taken that study and you, are, uh, you know of a friend who might want to, please be sure and tell them about it. They have to go and sign up on that page themselves because a book is required. And let me just tell you, um, the workbook is worth working through, okay? It takes commitment, and um, you will love it, and you will be so glad that you stuck with it through the end. It's changed my life as far as my studying. So, um, and that's just, I think that's why I never grow tired of teaching that, that study. Because so many people, I've never had anybody say I didn't get anything. Uh, if you're going to get out of Proverbs what you put in Proverbs, you're going to get out of that study what you put in to that. And at first, it's intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It is. But stick with it. You will be so glad you did. Anyway, if you are interested in that study, go over there and sign up if you haven't already. If you have signed up for it and you know somebody else who wants to, tell them to go over there and sign up. And um, I think she's going to try to order books for the uh, those who need books locally. I wanted to throw that out there to you. And then, um, again, we're going to do Chapter 12 live. So that's Tuesday at 8 o'clock. We're going to go live with that. And then if I can talk my husband into it, on the 18th, we're going to jump on here for 10 minutes maybe. Uh, 15 and um, talk to you um, about an announcement that is so exciting uh, <laughs> for us and we want you to pray about this for us and, and Rick will come on, keep your fingers crossed that I can get him in here to talk to you about this announcement on the 18th. So um, it's, it's pretty exciting. So tune in for that. Also, I wanted you all to, um, if you think about me tomorrow and Sunday um, after I get home from church, I'm going to um, try to do some, excuse me, pre-recording and I'm going to do some of that tomorrow. Rick has to uh, go and rehearse uh, some songs with, he's playing for a funeral on Sunday after he after we get out of church, and so he has to go and, and practice with those who are singing for that funeral tomorrow. So please pray for me if I come to mind tomorrow, as I will do some pre-recording for our chapters. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit ahead. Uh, Rick and I are celebrating uh, 29 years on the 16th, and so we're going to go out of town and... Um, so I'm trying to get ahead. And then, of course, you know, we have Thanksgiving. Everybody has Thanksgiving and all the festivities that are coming with that. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get ahead. So just, if you think about me tomorrow, pray for me tomorrow and Sunday, please. Uh, because I want to um, share with you what God lays on my heart. Because only God knows who's listening, who's watching. And um, I am really, really seeking God about direction um, for when we're going to start the new study in January and um, the possibility of when we would start or if we start. I, uh, I don't have confirmation on that. Um, the um, 
40-day prayer challenge thing that I just finished this morning. I was so sad when I read that for the last time. In fact, she's coming on tonight at 930, but I always watch it in the mornings. Um, and so it'll be the last night of it. And I'm, I'm pretty sad about that. So, uh, it is, it has been wonderful. So, um, anyway, I think that's everything that I was supposed to mention. Now it's your turn. Talk to us. And if I miss you live on here, then, um, we'll go back and read the questions and everything and, and respond. Okay. So, tell me, um, what's your favorite part so far about uh, Proverbs? What's, what's, what, do you, what have you learned that you didn't know? Thank you, Penny. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's a little deep there, Sue. Um, you know, and here's the thing. Um, you're not misunderstanding. It is. There's a lot about that. And so, um, I have, you know, moved on and I've, I've retained what I can in chapter 8 as far as that. And here's something that um, I have made a practice to. I'm not saying ignore that or go away from that. And you may want to talk with your pastor about that because I'm not that. Um, let me see. I know what you're talking about in chapter 8. When it starts in verse 22, the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way before his works of old from everlasting. I was established from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. Now, um, so we're talking, uh, this is wisdom is saying this. So, um, the parts of like something like this, and if my nephew was still on, I don't know if he is. He's a he's the pastor of a church in in uh, Scottsboro, Alabama. He pastors the Goose Pond Church of God, so big shout out for them. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. I looked at that and I read over it, but because I don't have a clear understanding, um. I'd rather not, I would rather not try to give you some information that I'm not uh, certain of. So, um, I hate to say that as your facilitator, I just don't know everything. So, I just really try to um, stay on what I can comprehend and what I can learn and what I do know. But I know when I marked all of those time phrases before his works and when there were no depths and before the hills, wisdom says, I was brought forth, I was born. And before the mountains were and before the hills um, were, you know, were. Um, and while he had not yet made the earth and the fields, nor the first dust of the world, when he established the heavens, I, wisdom, was there. So um, I'm just taking it as as you know what it what it's saying there and um going with that I'm, i know that doesn't answer your question and listen for those of you who are way more knowledgeable about this than i am jump in there and help her because i just tend to focus um yes sue when it says she it is talking about wisdom if you look up the original hebrew and wisdom uh for wisdom so far um, it refers to she. So, yeah, there, I hope that helps. So, and listen, I, I think I gave you all a disclaimer before we ever started this. I don't know everything there is to know. So, I just have to be blatantly honest and just like, I'm not really sure. Really don't understand. So, seriously, speak to your pastor about it. Um, someone, you know, with really good godly, um, counsel and to, to get those answers and then come back and teach me. Um, is Jerry still on there? Here I am. Okay. Am I still on? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Hello. 
Thumbs up, anybody? Okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> There's a lot of thumbs up, okay. So, Rick, if you are in there and you see some questions, I'm trying to scroll through these and see. Um, how and what I can help with. Tammy, it was so fun to worship together. And, um, Tanita, I don't know if you want to listen to that song again, honey. <laughs> I'm such a crybaby anymore. But I'm glad. I'm thankful for a tender heart. I, I know I've heard of people who say they can't cry. And I'll take that any day. But just I just love the sweet. When I close my eyes and I just think about how sweet it is to trust in Jesus. I mean, there's nothing sweeter. And so that just really gets me. Gets me right there in my feelings. Um... Thank you for the happy anniversary and the praying for you, Kim. Um, yeah, Sue, so be sure and ask your pastor. I'm just trying to come th up through here. Hey, Barbara. So, listen, thank you guys for uh, being here with us on a Friday night. And, uh, again, we will, we will be going live on the 12th for chapter 12. So, I'm going to pray for us, and then you all go and enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, I may just uh, cozy up and watch me a good Christmas movie. Uh, what'd she ask? <laughs> Wait just a second. In Proverbs 8, I was a little confused about Yeah, I just addressed that. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I addressed. Her. You're getting a delay? Okay. Yes. Possessed, brought forth. God who is all wise, brought forth wisdom. Yeah, and it talks about when I when I got to that verse of being brought forth, it was it said it in two different verses. It said it in 24 and 25. And when you look that up, it means born. Yes. And wisdom we should apply to, yes, to our lives completely, absolutely. And, you know, um, I don't know that I've, I, I've prayed for wisdom, but I don't know that I've prayed every day for wisdom. But since I have been in um, Proverbs, <laughs> I bet you have too. I'm sure you have too prayed for wisdom every day, so, which is a great thing. That wisdom and that understanding, and I just really pray for uh, discernment so that I will not be misled or deceived. And, um, you know, I, I think I told you this from the get-go. Be careful when you're listening to teachers and preachers and speakers and um, to always line it up with the Word. And if it's anything contrary, then, you know, you, you, know, you, you can question that if it's anything contrary to what God's Word says. So, well, listen, I'm going to pray, and then we will uh, say goodbye for the evening. Thanks again for being here with me and doing this study. Um, I have some um, pre-recorded uh, things already done, and Vicki's ready to put those up. But, um, yeah, again, pray for me tomorrow and Sunday so I can get uh, some more of these done. And I don't want to rush through them. I'm really seeking God and asking Him to show me things, you know, because I don't know who I'm speaking to, and um, not every lesson is going to be exactly for you, but it's going to be for somebody. And I think we can stand to learn um, something from every one of these chapters, of course. So just uh, be praying for yourself. Ask God to give you um, understanding and wisdom to receive what He what He wants to speak to you in your personal reading time with Him. So let's pray, and then we'll then we'll go for the evening. Father, thank you so much for your sweet spirit and uh, this time together. I just ask God that you give everyone a great night of rest or if they're watching this in the morning, give them a wonderful day in you and uh, may everyone that gets to see this, uh, may they feel your sweet spirit and your comfort and God, there's so many needs represented and um, I just pray that you would uh, meet us, uh, meet each one 
uh, where we are because we know that you're here with us. And so we thank you for that. But I just thank you again for this opportunity and for all of those that are uh, with me on this journey of Proverbs. We love you and we love your word and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, I um, hope you have a great, great weekend. And um, I will see you Tuesday at 8 o'clock for Chapter 12. Bye.